Hey, Foidy Me J here. Thanks for checking out the episode. Today we'll be looking at real life locations hidden inside Red Dead Redemption 2. First up we have Ansberg. If you didn't already know, Ansberg is based off Pittsburgh back in the day. I'm going to look around the town a little and then show you some pictures of Pittsburgh in the 1800s so that you can compare them. I really think it's amazing how much detail Rockstar puts into their games. When you really deep dive into all the stuff they have based off real life in Red Dead Redemption 2, it's surprising. Today I'll be showing you 15 real life things in RDR2 which are the ones that I know of, but if you know of any more I would love to hear from you in the comments. Just letting you get a good look around Ansberg before I show off the photos. This building in front of me here is actually a building that's in Pittsburgh back in the day. I'm not sure if this building would be here today in Pittsburgh. It might be in ruins, I'm not sure about that, but it would be cool if it was still there. Here's another photo of Pittsburgh in the 1800s. From these photos you can see the resemblance between Ansberg and Pittsburgh. Let me know what you think. Next up we have Marco Dragic's tower, aka Tesla tower. Marco Dragic is based off the real life inventor Nikola Tesla. If you don't know who Nikola Tesla is, he is an inventor who was around in the 1800s and he had many breakthroughs when creating electricity and he even invented the first alternating current. The Tesla tower was made as an experiment with wireless transmission but fell through as there wasn't enough funding. In game you can actually do side missions here as long as you start the mission down in Saint Denis with Marco. Now to the meteor crash site. In my opinion this is Rockstar's version of the Tunguska event which took place in 1908 in Russia. A massive explosion occurred which caused all the trees to be bent back in a huge circle in the ground and there was no crater left. That's why many people think that the meteor exploded before hitting the earth. I know in game there is a crater but Rockstar doesn't want it to be exactly the same or it'd be too easy of an easter egg. You can also pick up a piece of meteor right here. Do you think this is a reference to the Tunguska event? Let me know in the comments below. Next up, Saint Denis, which is based off New Orleans in Louisiana. Even by looking at this photo, you can see the comparison between New Orleans and Saint Denis. In New Orleans, this statue is of Andrew Jackson in Jackson Square, but in game it's of General Harris. If you look at this statue in game of General Harris, you can see someone has painted on the word card. This is because Harris left his men to die at the Battle of Boulder Glade. And here's the statue in real life. This statue in Saint Denis is based off the statue of Robert E. Lee in New Orleans, but the statue has now been removed due to racism issues. Here's a picture of the statue in real life. It is much taller in New Orleans. I'll give you a bit more of a close-up of the statue here. Trams in Saint Denis are also based off the trams in New Orleans. They still operate to this day and they are very historic. Here's a picture of a tram in New Orleans. This is based off Jackson Square in New Orleans. I'll now show you some photos. Lastly, for Saint Denis, the graveyard there is based off the St. Louis Cemetery in New Orleans. Here's a picture of the front of it. I think it's really cool that Rockstar put in this much detail. Next up we have Caliga Hall which is based off Shirley Plantation in Virginia. This is now a tourist attraction in real life. Here's a picture of it, they almost look exactly the same. The guards didn't seem too happy that I was there. Here's another picture. On to Braithwaite Manor which is another plantation house in real life called Oak Alley in Louisiana. Oak Alley is also a tourist attraction that you can visit. 
They'll be real easy to get rid of when they're dead. It's all good. Calm down. Next we have Boulder Glade. I think that this battlefield is based off the River Campaign. More than 25 major battles were fought in Louisiana during the Civil War. The Union Army were directed into Louisiana during 1864. Confederate forces had many casualties but still managed to win. You can also inspect the site in-game. This is what Arthur has to say about the site. Pretty interesting. I'll now show you a photo. Next we have Window Rock. There is also a real life Window Rock just like this. It belongs to the Native Americans in Arizona. When coming up here I discovered an easter egg that I haven't seen before. Maybe this is some sort of Native American painting or something. This is really cool. Has anyone ever seen this before or knows what it is? This game has been out two years and I'm still finding new things to this day. That's what I love about it. You can also inspect this site. Strange statues? Hmm. The fact that birds are on this is making me think that it is Native American as they do kind of value birds. Katora Springs is based on Yellowstone National Park which is mostly in Wyoming but spreads into parts of Montana and Idaho. This looks amazing. I would really love to go here. Rockstar really thought of everything when making this game. Whoa, that looks amazing. Last up we have Blackwater, which is actually based off the town Blackwater in Missouri. The town only has several hundred residents. Here's some pictures. Well I hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content. It really helps out the channel. And thank you guys for 800 subscribers. You're the best. I can't believe it. We're almost at 1000 my goal. I'll see you guys in the next one.